Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. And I just want to give people some pointers on um, how I beat gang stalking. Now, number one, gang stalking is an average thing. You got to be phenomenal. You always got to take that uh, extra step. Like I always say, 110%. Keep the ball going, or keep the ball rolling. Like my name's, last name's Rawls. You keep it moving. We're going for 110 no matter what. And that's what I did in my conspiracy research. I always tried to push it a step further. And that's what got me into the situation to begin with. But now I'm looking to say, like, I'm the only person in the world who beat gang stalking. I achieved that. I mean, you know, I'm having the time of my life. This is the best time of my life right now, no matter what. I'm serious. That, that's 110%, no matter what, it's the best time of my life right now. And um, <clears throat> what I'm looking to do is, is actually, you know, I, I'm not training myself right now just to be doing what I'm doing now. I'm training myself to be out there, to be speaking at, be speaking at colleges to be communicating with people in Congress, to be talking to people, you know, people, somebody in the FBI might need my help. Somebody in the Central Intelligence Agency might need my help. Need my help. Somebody in the National Security Agency might need my help. There might, somebody in NASA might need my help. I mean, gang stalking is a worldwide phenomenon. I'm the only person in the world that ever beat it, Jamil Rawls. And so I'm laying down a foundation right now so I can just say I was the first person in the world that beat it. And there's other people who did it too. Um, one of the first things is, you know, Keep, keep training yourself to be to where you want to be. A lot, of, And this goes beyond gang stock. I'm just going to break it down in simple terms. For a lot of people who got jobs, you might want to be the best at your job. And somebody else has it. Somebody else got some position that you want. Work like you got that position already. And then they might get laid off. They might have to move. They might get sick. Something might happen and you might fill it in. See what I mean? Like when Kobe was playing for the Lakers... You know, he he got he, he wasn't there. Somebody else had to come in. The person who came in, they might have not been training like they were going to be the number one person. They thought they were always going to be second, be average. So you, you get opportunities all the time. And that's what I did. I looked at gang stalking as an opportunity. I said, man, my God, I went through all this conspiracy research, literally got into it with the most powerful people in the world, beat a life-death situation. Now i got to go through gang stalking? You know what? I didn't let it stop me. I went back to the laboratory, I went back to the drawing board, and I said, "We're going to keep it moving. We're going to we're going to take this opportunity and become the first person in the world to ever beat gang stalking." And let's see, and that's going to take us ten times further. Scratch that out. That's going to take us a thousand times further than conspiracy research ever could have took me. And the little stuff that they put in my way is nothing. This is all I got to go through to become the only person in the world to ever beat gang stalking. I can do that. That's no problem. And so now I put my I train myself, man. I want to be at those those speaking engagements over in Beverly Hills somewhere. I want to I want to be out there helping people who need help, people who are like contemplating suicide, people who are on drugs and all that stuff, people who, who are going to lose their job. There's people who have high good jobs, good paying jobs that are being gang stalked and they're going to lose their job over gang stalking. They need somebody to help them. Who are they going to call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> now they're going to call Jamil Rawls, right? And so that's what we got to do. And so I'm just c continuously laying that foundation down. And for people who, who are watching this video and they don't know what gang stalking is, <sighs> just go Google gang stalking and go Google target individual. It, it, you know, it's just organized intimidation. Um, for a lot of people, it's not going to be something that they're going to... Uh, you know, a lot of people in society might not be accepting that something like that can exist, and so it's a little difficult. For me, it turned out, you know, like, you know how people, you know how people go through, like, a, a serious thing in their life, and it makes them better? Like, the movie The Game with Michael Douglas, that's gang stalking. But he signed up for a corporation that changed his life. They gang stalked him, and he, it got him through all his issues. And when he came on the other side, he was ten times better. That's what happened to me, literally. And it was magical. It was a magical experience. I went through, I ended up going to Hollywood and, and meeting the people who ran Hollywood. I ended up getting into it with the people who put the president in the White House. I mean, it's a, it was a hell of a, it was a hell of an ordeal, man. Honestly, it was. It, it was, it was a pretty big thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm a better person. They helped me. Honestly, they did. The gang stalking program is the best thing that ever happened to me, no matter what. And so, you know, I, I mean, it just, it just changed me, you know what I mean? It just changed me 110%. I'm coming to terms with my mother right now. My mother even got paid to gang stock me. She came home with the lights on in her car. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, wow, man, this, this is going on right now? And so it, it actually made me get into a better relationship with my mother because historically, 
okay, I'm 30 years old. I live on my mother's house. I don't have a car. Historically, historically, it's been a situation where when I brought women to my mother's house, there would always be a lot of drinking. Like every time, you know, when I was in, when I was like in high school and, and all that stuff, uh, there was a period where I had my own place for a while. But every, when I was around my mother's house, I'd bring women over. And there'd be liquor and stuff like that. Like, I've gotten to a new stage in my life where i got to be in my right mind 365 days of the year. I can't afford to drink a beer. If somebody emails me with a phone number like, hey, I need your help, call me. I, I can't be drunk. And so that's out the window. So, you know, this has provided me with reasons to keep my life real. You know what I mean? Like, before I didn't have a reason not to get drunk. Before I didn't have a reason not to exercise every day. You know what I mean? Before I didn't have a reason. I didn't, I didn't have the motivation. Now i got a why. Now I know why I wake up. And so I got into a deep conversation with my mother, and I came to the clue. I'm like, you know, if I want to have some females over here, I can do that. Before I had to go meet them down, down at the movie theater, you know what I mean, and go with them. Or I, or I had to, to do it another way. I, I had, you know what I'm saying, I had to go over to my cousin's house or something like that, and the females would come over. And, and you know what I mean, I'm over there playing cards. I'm over at somebody's grandma's house playing cards. Their grandma's like, you want another piece of chicken, baby? And I'm over there, I'm over there playing, I'm over there playing cards, like, like, where the call the females, call the females, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Now, now, now I got a situation to now I got it to where you know what I'm saying. Especially if one of them has a car. That's what I need. I need, I need one of these females, one of those, uh, one of those. I live. There's a place called Grand Haven, Michigan, right there. They got some girls on that damn beach, man. That especially. The gang stock can probably even throw some blondes at me. I don't care. I'll take whatever I can get. But they got some beautiful ones out there, man. Nice cars out stuff. Man, I get me one of those, man. I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be out. I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, I'm mean, everything. Everything will be ten times better. And so, you know, now, now I'm gonna be able to actually bring females back to my mother's house. See what I'm saying? And and so, I'm in a situation now where I'm gonna be worried about. Now, I'm in a situation now. You know, I. Can, yeah, I'm the only person who to beat gang stock. I went through all this all conspiracy theories, blah, 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 blah. And now, now my mother knows I'm not going to be bringing women back here to be drinking and all this stuff. And so everything, you know, everything is cool. You know what I mean? You know? And so my life's improving all around. My next step is is, get, is, is, is getting up out of here permanently. And, you know, I've been doing side jobs this summer, man. I've been doing stuff like roofing, lawn. Um, this guy I know, we're gonna, we're, we were doing barbecue. We're going to be doing that again pretty soon. I've been laying it down, dog. And the best thing that happened to me was when I saw my mother, when they, how they paid, somehow they, they gave my mother some money. And stuff, my mother started, mother started bringing stuff home, buying me. So I'm like, where the hell is all this stuff coming from? Oh, she, she felt guilty because they gave her the money to put the headlights on the car. So I'm like, okay, cool. But now she knows I'm not tripping. Now she knows I'm not crazy. Now she knows all the stuff I've been running around the house talking about for the last four years is real, or at least there's a lot to it. See what I'm saying? And so now, now, now I'm feeling the good, you know. And so that's where I'm at, dog. I'm the only person where the beat gang stock, and every day I'm working more and more towards my goal to go out and help people to travel, to do all that stuff. It's gonna be nothing but positivity from here on out. You know, this we ha I haven't even got warmed up yet. I'm just starting to get warmed up. You know, and so I'm just laying it down, man. For the people who have been watching my videos, if you're watching videos from before I started talking about my experience with gang stalking, which is like two weeks ago, it's going to be irrelevant because anything happened to do before two weeks ago is just going to be, you know, I mean, you can watch it, it's interesting stuff, but it's just going to be irrelevant. Like now, my life's moving in a totally different direction, and, you know, I've just, I've just accomplished so much. And it's just like, I, you know, I'm about to lay it down, man. People people, people don't know. People are watching this video. You're like, okay, here's some guy on YouTube. Watch. Watch what I see. Watch what happens. Just watch. <laughs> just watch. But, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be something positive no matter what.